Welcome everyone. We're going to go through the healing tool today in the Lightroom CC mobile app. We're going to get rid of this water bottle. Now, for those of you who watch my videos, you know that I don't delete anything in street photography. However, this is going to be used for advertising. So advertising has different ethics. You can delete anything you want because it's all about what the client wants. And in this instance, the client is me because I'm going to be using this picture to advertise for my upcoming Italy photo workshop with co-instructor James Wilson. Okay, so let's begin. So the first thing we're gonna do is of course, go to our little healing tool. And let's just zoom in a little bit more so we can see better. And the first step is to choose the size. Let's go with about 35 or 40. And for feather, I like to start out at 50 and then I can adjust it later. Don't worry about this third option, which is opacity or opacity. Just keep it at 100. So let's just do a little swipe here. Now the first thing that we're going to do is match up the base of the stone, stone wall, because it's not working out, okay? So let's just see about that. That's probably pretty good. And we're gonna go to check mark. Now the reason why I'm doing this is because I've had so many issues with trying to get Lightroom CC healing to actually work and look good. Now I can fix this, but it's gonna take me two or three different healing sessions to get it right. That's why what I'm going to do in this tutorial is show you a, sort of a workaround. It's not the best thing because I usually like to keep all my photos within the Lightroom ecosystem. However, this is a trick that will really help you. Okay, so let's back out by going to the back arrow. And now what I'd like you to do if you're, use, if you're following along on your own picture is go to the up arrow. And we're going to go to edit in. So tap that. We're going to go to maximum available. And we have the option of healing in Photoshop Fix or Liquify. We're gonna to go to healing. Okay, so we're in Photoshop Fix and with sort of the pinch and zoom technique, we're gonna just uh, zoom into the bottle here. And we're gonna do a fairly simple job here just to make sure that uh, I get this lesson done in time within 10 minutes. And uh, so let's just go to the size. We're going to choose a size. It doesn't matter too much, smaller than the bottle. And hardness, maybe 70%. And let's just uh, do a nice little painting of the water bottle. Everything that's red will be affected. Don't worry about going over. In fact, you should a little bit, just to make sure that the entire bottle is covered. Okay. Now when we let go, the job's pretty good. And actually, if you need to do any fine tuning, you could da go down to the bottom at patch and when you're at patch with your finger, you can actually adjust sort of like, like sample point. So this is uh, not bad. It's a really quick fix. And if I was doing this for a large printout, I would actually fix the shadow of the cell phone and I would actually fix the water a little bit better. However, because this is only an advertising for social media like Facebook and Instagram, if I zoom out to the normal size, I can pretty much guarantee no one would ever know that that was there, nor would they probably guess that there was a, a healing done at all. So I feel that this is perfectly fine. Now keep in mind that we worked on healing, but clone stamping can do pretty much the same thing. So if we like what we see, we're going to go at the very top, save and return to Adobe Lightroom. So I'll get you to tap on that if you're following along. And this returns us to my Florence uh, collection of photos. And here is the picture. Okay, so let's zoom in. Now you may want to know, does it return as a raw? No, it doesn't, let me show you. We're gonna to go to info. It returns as a PNG. However, it does maintain the, uh, the normal metadata. Like for example, the fact that it was for my Fujifilm X100S, it was a 23 millimeter lens. And as you can see at the bottom, the data. So that's good. However, it is not a RAW, and this is because we left the Lightroom workflow and we entered into another app. Okay, so let's go back to edit. Now at this point, I really like the photo. It's, it's a very serene image. It's a contemplative. I would probably, just for fun, go to profiles and maybe put a, maybe a modern profile. Let's just take a look here. Profiles are, are good, but you can overuse them. 
maybe an eight, but we'll reduce, let's reduce the, uh, the effect of the eight, just so it's very slight. We're gonna go to the check mark, and there we go. So that would be the finished product, and uh, if you feel that it's just not working out within the Lightroom app, I would suggest that you download Photoshop Fix because Lightroom sends information or photos to Photoshop Fix and it returns it extremely easy. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that little trip to Florence, Italy. And uh, by all means, if you want to come with us to Florence, check out the website listed below and in this video. And we would love to see you in the wonderful region of Tuscany. Talk soon and check back tomorrow for a new video.